Ecology. Why is it so important for humans to have a healthy ecology? The most important reason is that we need to have a home, a planet that is livable, and we can't do that if our ecology is not healthy. I'm going to take a look at what ecology means and all the ways that it has an effect on us. Hello, science lovers, and welcome to EQ Science, a channel dedicated to everything science, engineering, and technology. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss our latest episodes. Biotic and Abiotic Factors The main goal of ecology is to figure out how living and non-living things are spread out in the environment. The living and non-living things and their interaction with the environment make up the biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic Components Biotic components are parts of an ecosystem that are alive. Bacteria, animals, birds, fungi, plants, and so on are all examples of biotic parts. Abiotic components Abiotic components are the physical and chemical parts of an ecosystem that are not living. The atmosphere, the lithosphere, and the hydrosphere could provide these things. Some examples of abiotic parts are sunlight, soil, air, water, minerals, and more. Types of Ecology Here we discuss four types of ecology. Number 1. Molecular Ecology Ecology studies how proteins are made, how they affect organisms and the environment, and how the environment, in turn, affects how proteins are made. In all known organisms, DNA makes different proteins. These proteins interact with each other and their surroundings to copy the DNA. Because of these interactions, some organisms are very complicated. Molecular ecologists study how these proteins are made, how they affect the organism and environment, and how the environment affects them. Number 2. Organismal Ecology Organismal ecology studies how individual organisms interact with each other's organisms and their surroundings. Even though organismal biology is a part of ecology, it is still a very large field. Each organism has a huge number of interactions throughout life. Studying them all is impossible. Scientists who study organismal ecology often look at just one part of an organism, like how it acts or uses the nutrients in its environment. Number 3. Population Ecology Populations of the same species are the next level of organism organization. Due to the diversity of life on Earth, different species have developed many diverse tactics for interacting with their conspecifics. Some species compete directly with conspecifics, while others create deep social relationships and cooperate to gain resources. Social ecology investigates creatures like bees and wolves that cooperate to feed the colony or pack. Unlike animals that compete with conspecifics, these organisms' complex interactions with their environment cause different selective forces. Scientists believe that human society's progress may have made people more talkative. Population ecologists investigate organism populations and their intricate interactions with the environment and other populations. Number 4. Community Ecology Organisms in the same environment form communities. Organisms occupy niches in these communities. A wheat field has many niches. Wheat survives on sunlight and soil nutrients. Wheat's nutrients feed insects. Bacteria in the roots convert nitrogen for the plant. Community ecologists study these intricate connections and their selective forces. In communities, Two or more species may co-evolve. This is evident in many species, from pollinators and their blooms to predators and prey. Ecology teaches us how the things we do affect the environment. It shows people how much damage we are doing to the environment. With knowledge of ecology, we can figure out what resources different organisms need to stay alive. A lack of ecological knowledge has caused these resources to be scarce and hard to get, which has led to competition. So, that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. 
We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.